In this video, we uh, will install macOS Sonoma 14.3.1 on a MacBook Air uh, early 2014 using a legacy patcher. As you can see, this MacBook Air goes up to uh, macOS Big Sur natively. And uh, when we check for uh, updates, it says that uh, we're running the latest update. So, uh, we will go ahead and uh, uh, jump to the Open Core Legacy Patcher official website. So, once we are into the uh, actual website, go ahead and uh, uh, click on download uh, the uh, Open Core Legacy Patcher. You've got obviously the uh, instructions there. So, once we are on the page, we scroll down to the assets. The current OpenCore Legacy Patcher version is the 1.3.0. We will uh, download the second option. And once that uh, has downloaded, we will go ahead and um, extract the file in order to uh, install the application. Go ahead, open up the uh, OpenCore uh, Legacy uh, Patcher and the MacBook will actually ask for permission to actually open the uh, this file because we downloaded it from the internet and uh, we will open a open core legacy patcher and now we will actually uh, select uh, create macOS installer and uh, will be the first option download macOS it will find straight from the Apple servers We'll go for the macOS Sonoma 14.3.1 and uh, it gives you the list for all the compatible uh, OS's. This one will download. It will be a long process because, because of too many factors. One of them will be your uh, download speed and so on and so forth. So let it download and we'll come back once that is done. Now it's doing the validation and it will ask you for your uh, passcode put that and press ok it will extract uh, the macOS installer that will take a few more minutes generally speaking this process is quite long so relax sit tight and uh, why not grab a cup of coffee or something now uh, it says that uh, we is asking well to create uh, the installer we will actually say yes because we want to create uh, the installer and uh, it will pro it will show up our disk that one is our ssd now it's actually asking you to grab a usb stick in order to create the bootable usb grab a 32 gig uh, USB stick that would be more than enough and uh, plug that to your machine once you have plugged it in uh, go ahead and uh, click search uh, for uh, disks again I mean it is a, a reason behind this so it, by doing that in this way it will not uh, ask you later on to uh, write again the open call legacy patcher onto your disk so we've got our uh, usb selected and uh, on the confirmation there we click yes obviously it says that uh, your data on that usb stick will delete will get deleted so if you're happy with that go ahead and type in your passcode and uh, press ok Now it will create the installer and again this one will take uh, <coughs> quite some time. The duration of this process at this stage will depend on how fast your USB is. Normally it takes around 30 minutes, maybe slightly more, but again let it do its thing and we'll come back for the next step. It's done, it's doing the validation now. Of everything that uh, is being transferred to our USB stick 
again it will take some time so now has successfully created uh, the installer and is asking you whether you wanna uh, to continue and uh, install the open core to your disk we say yes and then that does the uh, creation there it's finished and now we'll, cre we'll click uh, install to disk and uh, again we will select uh, our uh, SSD and EFI our passcode and uh, it will install the open core to our disk now reboot to apply so now it says that we need to do a reboot but, but upon reboot you we have to actually keep uh, on pressing the uh, option key let's go ahead and uh, do that reboot and uh, restart and once the screen goes uh, black uh, press and hold actually the option key and uh, once the laptop uh, has restarted now select the EFI by for keep on holding the option key and then go next to it and install Sonoma again you keep on pressing the uh, option key and while you actually select install macro Sonoma now in the next screen we will uh, be landing uh, onto the macro uh, recovery in a second and here you've got two options either do it as an upgrade or do it as a fresh install in my case i did i tried the uh, upgrade option so i clicked install macro sonoma and press continue now uh, if uh, the upgrade uh, method doesn't work you have to go back and uh, do a fresh install again make sure that you've got a backup of your stuff either through external external hard drive or a time machine because uh, everything would get erased from your ssd if you uh, do um, a fresh install as you can see uh, it is quite slow as uh, expected anyway now we go ahead and agree to terms and conditions and select our internal ssd click continue and now this one will actually install macOS uh, Sonoma into our SSD. Again, leave it uh, alone, let it do its thing. The device will uh, restart a couple of times, maybe more than a couple, but that's expected. And uh, we will uh, uh, wait for that until we are presented with uh, the lock screen on, on macOS Sonoma. Now here we type in our passcode and now we are uh, into the setup uh, screen of uh, macOS Sonoma. Go ahead, do your uh, preferences there. And now we are at the home screen of macOS Sonoma. Now, uh, remember in the beginning that I said uh, that uh, I was doing this process differently yes so now with the options that we uh, selected in the uh, in the beginning of the video now the outcome is that uh, open core legacy patcher would not prom would not say that uh, oh you you are uh, booting from a USB because we went straight and installed the whole thing on onto our ssd so now as you can see this macbook air early 2014 runs mac os sonoma 14.3.1 and uh, now it is a time to do a uh, couple more things one of them is uh, to uh, open open core uh, legacy patcher and check for post installation patches that is a very important step 
uh, to make sure that uh, our uh, system will run as smooth as possible. So open core leg uh, open open core legacy uh, patcher and uh, go to uh, post installation patches and uh, the system will check. In my case, there is uh, nothing uh, left to do there because it has the latest uh, patches. Now, if you if in your case it has any available patches, it will uh, actually prompt you to actually install those patches. And uh, again, let's go back to Open Core Legacy Patcher and uh, go to uh, Settings because if you want to have a native boot up screen as native as it gets you have to actually untick the open core uh, picker folder and then go back and uh, uh, apply that change by uh, building again the open core uh, legacy patcher and then click on uh, right to disk select the disk which is the first one there highlighted in blue and then efi and it will do uh the mounting obviously it will uh, ask you for your passcode to confirm that uh, uh, action once that is done it will ask you to uh, reboot and uh, upon reboot again you need to keep on holding the option key and select EFI and then the system will boot again straight uh, to Sonoma this uh, process is quite long so uh, I was say, thinking to do a voiceover instead of uh, uh, an actual uh, instruction by voice when the whole process was uh, uh, going on so we are back uh, onto our lock screen tap the passcode uh, just bear in mind that uh, once the uh, the machine will uh, initially boot to macOS Sonoma, it will be slow. However, that will get better over time. And as you can see, it's a bit uh, laggy in my case, but uh, that's all right. So now I'll go again and eject the usb uh, stick and this time actually remove the usb stick from my laptop and uh, just to actually uh, confirm that uh, the installation has been completed successfully i'll go again back and uh, restart uh, the macbook and this time it will not be necessary to hold down any option key or any key just let it do the restart and you will see that it will uh, boot from the ssd straight to uh, mac os uh, sonoma so uh, the process has been completed successfully i want to say a big thank you to the people who actually um, are behind this uh, project they are legends and uh, of course if you've got any questions or anything drop them down in the comment section below i'll be happy to help you as much as i can and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more content